Hi, this is Rachel and welcome to my channel. I'm here to do my October 2017 empties. It's kind of crazy that we are three months, or really two months away from it being the end of the year. Um, this year has seemed that it has just flown by. I'm now a quarter into my first year of teaching and I'm learning new things every day. Um, not every day is easy, but I'm learning along the way and we're getting there. So, we just have parent-teachers conferences too, so I had my first experience with those, which went really well. I don't have too many empties for the month of October. It was kind of a slower month for empties, um, but I do have a decent enough amount to do a video. So the first one I'm going to start with, and the empty bottle got thrown away, so I'm just throwing th this one in there, and it is the Pumpkin Cranberry Cider Soap. This soap is delicious. Um, I really enjoyed the smell of it, and I'm so glad to have this one as a backup, obviously. Finish the Deep Sea Wonders soap. And I actually think this is probably more of a August empty, um, but I found that it never got into my empty bag, and there therefore it never got into a video, so I'm counting it as an October empty. And um, I really enjoyed this one. It was a really nice smell and it was a really nice scent. Um, it smelled like water and it was just a great scent. I definitely would repurchase it. Then I have Autumn Spice Strawberry. This one was probably more of a summer scent than a fall scent because it definitely smelled like strawberries. Um, I love strawberry scents though so I would repurchase this one too. And going along with the trend with soaps, um, this is 7th generation hibiscus and uh, cardamom. We use this one in the kitchen, and I really enjoy 7th generation soaps because I know they're good for, you, for your hands. Um, and they don't dry out your hands, but yet they're pretty cheap. This is my favorite scent in 7th generation. I bought a ton when they were um, clearing out this scent. They don't make it anymore. So I would repurchase it if it was still available. I have one or two left, I can't remember. But I really do enjoy this scent. And we wash our hands so often in the kitchen that it's hard to buy more expensive soap. So it's nice to have cheaper brands in the kitchen. Then I have the Dr. Teal's Foaming Bath um, with pure Epsom salt, and it's the lavender one. I got this as a sample in the Target Beauty Box. I wasn't a big fan. It doesn't make that much bubbles, and I'd much prefer just putting um, plain old Epsom salt in my bath because I feel like that actually releases the essential oils more than this one does. I have Herbal Essences um, Argan Oil of Morocco Shampoo. I enjoyed this one. Um, I probably won't repurchase because I don't like using Herbal Essence on my hair. Um, it's not the best brand for your hair. So I probably won't repurchase this one, but I did um, enjoy it when I was using it. Also got in the Target Beauty Box. Um, and then I have an Aussie three minute miracle conditioner and I did go buy two full sizes in this one I really enjoyed this one and I'm going to continue using it also Target Beauty Box Okay, and then I have a blue Hawaiian um, This was a bath bomb. I really do enjoy bath bombs, but they're really expensive for what they're worth um, I think I paid about five bucks for this one and it's just one use so I'm probably not going to keep repurchasing bath bombs but they are a nice you know treat every once in a while to use then I have a Crest 3D white um, toothpaste I really enjoy this toothpaste and I think it does do a good job cleaning my teeth I don't use it too often because I have sensitive teeth so you're not supposed to use this kind of toothpaste but I do enjoy it Um, I have Neutrogena Body Lotion. I got this from a hotel. Um, I used it up on my feet and I did enjoy it, but I wouldn't purchase it. Then my dad helped me out with this one. So this is the Statsima Shower Gel from the Body Shop and it's the big, huge 750 milliliters or 25.3 fluid ounces. It's huge. The only thing is the... Um, the pump broke. 
so that made it a little bit harder to use once the pump broke um, but we did have to pour some of it into smaller containers but it is gone now so this one, I wouldn't repurchase this big, huge bottle. It was some deal where if we bought so much, you got this one for free. Um, so it was worth it, but um, it's just too much shower gel. It's a lot of shower gel for one cent. And the Stasima scent is really nice. It's a Clementine scent. It is really nice, but I wouldn't repurchase it. Um, I have the Vena Venus um, Olay Shave Gel in vanilla cashmere. I do really like this scent. It is um, one of the harder scents to find for Venus, um, but it is a nice scent. So, and I, I, I love their shave gel and I think they do a great job with um, their shave gel. So, I would repurchase this one. I really do enjoy this scent too. Then I have a Statsima um, Body Shore I mostly use this one on my feet. It is um, kind of nice in the summertime because it's like a cooling lotion. I don't think it moisturizes all that well, but it does have that like cooling effect. It was really gritty. Um, so I wouldn't repurchase this one, but I do like the Statsima scent, and I would repurchase this in like a body butter and use it as a body butter. Um, and then I have um, Autumn Walk in the Park Fragrance Spear. You guys have to take these things for what they're worth. Um, they don't put off a whole lot of smell, but they do absorb a lot of odor in the bathroom. So that's where I like to use these, and I think they do do a good job with that part. And then I have a Suave Dry Shampoo. I There's actually quite a bit left in this one, but I finally gave up on it. Um, it doesn't work great on my hair and I really hate the smell, so I finally just gave up on it and um, threw it in the empties bucket. So this would not be a repurchase for me. And then here's an empty dry shampoo. I have been using dry shampoo more lately than usual. And this is the Dove Dry Shampoo and Refreshing Care. I think it smells really good, works really well on my hair, um, doesn't make it oily. Um, so I would repurchase the Dove ones. I like them the best so far for dry shampoos I have tried. So that is it for my October empties. Hopefully we will see some more body care empties coming up here soon. But for now, this is um, all my progress for my empties. And I will see you guys next month for another empties video. Bye!